Right, we've got to the top, folks. God, I feel so blessed. And I enjoyed that very, very long climb up. Obviously, a fit young person wouldn't find it difficult at all. But I'm 71 now, and I do suffer with asthma. I don't use it as an excuse. It doesn't stop me doing stuff. I just have to rest a bit more. Just little tiny rests. You know, have a breather, have a drink of water. And then you do it. And what a lovely sight. Being welcomed by that. Also knowing, another thing I love about when I'm here, is I feel my sister Jude with me around here. This part of, she talked of this part of the the Quantox. And the, uh, we both knew about Holford. She talked about um, Lydiard Hill, Crocombe. And then not far from Crocombe Hill, up around that way, she's got her ashes scattered. Yeah. Well, that was a big climb, but we did it. We ran out for a minute then, somebody around. Just let them go. People can travel, they haven't got any bags, no water or anything. Amazing. Let's just go over here. That's the first people I've seen. They don't look like backpackers. They've not even got them. They might have a... Yeah, she might have a flask of water. It's amazing how some people go out, oh yeah, they've got a bottle of water, they've got nothing on their back. They probably can't park their car just up there. Because just up there is the Lydiard Hill, right? And I was just saying how when I'm here, I can feel Jude. Lydiard Hill is just up there, but I'm not going to go there. To me, it wasn't anything particularly special but I'm giving those people a chance to get ahead yeah we could have a quick look up there just up that little path there while we're here look at that massive tree what we do we just climb up this bit but what I can remember it's more of a parking area I think and these people talk of Lydiard Hill because I think well I, I, couldn't, I was looking for, where is it? I mean, Will Snack's got a trick point on it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to bother folks. I'm going to be out in the sun. I'm not going to bother. Just get those people go. They're walking like, well, they're sorry, I mean, they aren't carrying anything, haven't they? They haven't done a big hill. Some people at their age. <laughs> no, but I can feel Jude. This gate would have been here when she was here. She could have, she could have touched that and opened that gate, couldn't she? Yeah, Lydia Hills over there. But like I said, I've never made any of it. I got over there. I thought, well, Lydia Hills, so what? Very slow, those people in front. Well, I'm just going to stand up here a minute because all over there that's what you call great wood, and it's all like farmed trees, if you like. I've never really been that keen on uh, great wood, really. But I expect you can get down from there. So this is it folks. This is a, a junction point that I've arrived at. There's more people coming. But I am not 
I'm going to look at the time yet, or am I? I might do because there's some more people coming. There will be people about. Right, over and out, we take a picture. Right, off we go again. Just, I've only just stopped again, I have my banana. Just stopped there. Quite a few people just gone by. Some people are making the most of the nice weather, um, coming out and enjoying the countryside. There's some children, so some kids haven't gone back to school. Some kids can't go back because their schools have been condemned with that dodgy concrete that they used in, back in the 70s or something. So this is beautiful trees here. Um, the, my main path is over there, but you miss stuff sometimes when you just go on the main path. So I thought I'd just wander here for a bit and we can see the these beautiful trees here and this is of course uh, over Exmoor over that way over that way will be Exmoor and then you've got what's called Great Wood until you get into to the Quantocks this is I class this as the Quantocks here I mean I know Great Wood is but I don't class it the same as the older part of the the hills what I do when I get up here a bit, I just cross over and pick up the track. I just wanted to come and admire these trees for a little while. Like I said, when I had my van, I could come here easier than having trains and buses and long walks before you get here. I used to park Alberta at Triscombe Car Park. Some people park back there at Lydiard. And um, then you're right up here, see? But I've got, I have quite a hike to get here, to be quite honest, before I even get here. The first time I walked here, I parked Alberta at Holford and I walked all the way here. I also went all the way down to the church back up and all the way back to Holford. I don't think I got back to about eight o'clock, but there was no panic. Didn't have to know if a bus was coming. I could do it. And there was no panic at all back time. Now it's quarter past 12 now, and we're on the trail now, which will take us to Triscombe. Um, but before that, we got Will's Neck and the trig point. Then we go down to Triscombe Stone, and the final leg will be towards Crocum, which is another big avenue of trees. This is why it's a good idea today to have chosen this walk. So I won't be doing Holford or Bicknoller today. But it doesn't matter. Look at those lovely trees, how gnarled the branches are and everything. And they're gorgeous. A bit more of the woods I'll there, look. Picture. That open patch with lovely trees. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm just saying to myself, oh, when I'm here, I, I think of my sister Jude a lot. I, I can actually feel Jude walking with me today. And I know that her footprints, she has walked there. She has been there and back. She's probably wandered over there with Stuart. Right, we're now coming. Um, I'll have to edit that bit out. Sorry, I forgot I had the video on. If you go down that path there, you don't have to do Will's Neck. You can go round into the wood. Now, I've never done that before, but that's what I reckon you can do. Or you can now come out into the open and get exposed. I'll, to, I'll get my hat out in a minute. It'll be the first time we've hit heat. But we will get great views. But like I say, there is another way round where you can walk in the shade still. So. But I always do Will's Knack and the trick point. We've only got to go up a bit and over, and then we're back in the woods again. I've seen groups of horses here. Not a horse in sight at the moment. I 
been quite dry here. I just stand under this tree and get my hat out. We'll get some great views from here. Yeah, the, the horses quite often gather. There is a bit of water there. They quite often gather here. Down here, there's a big watering hole. Look, there's still some water. I'm going to take a picture of that. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Then I'll be heading. We've got, oh, of course, the other great thing about this time of year, you get the colour of the heather and the gorse and the ferns. They're really at their peak now. And we'll be able to see blankets of purple haze very far, right away. Look at this though, isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to take a picture over now, everyone. This is Sheila on the 5th of September 2023 out at West Bagborough heading for Will's Neck in a minute, Triscombe Stone and then Crocombe and then back to get the bus from Crocombe Village. We're not doing Bicknoller, we're going to keep Bicknoller for another time because I want to come out one more time this year after today to do Holford and then I'm not coming back at all in the winter unless someone drives me here. Right, over and out.